Halo bay, welcome back to my channel <laughs> So today I'm going to show you guys how I maintain my little fro daily using these products right here Just like I watered my plants, the first thing I'm going to do is add some moisture to my hair by spraying it with water Now I have low porosity hair so it takes a minute to get all of the water saturated into my hair but eventually when I do, I'm just going to massage the water all through my hair. This just creates a little more heat, just like shaking up the water bottle in the beginning. This in turn opens my pores so my hair can suck the water in and therefore become moisturized. <laughs> After stimulating my scalp and massaging the water in for about a good five minutes, the last thing I'm going to do is my edges. So I found that spraying the brush with the got to be then applying the gel on my edges, then going in with the spray brush has helped me in molding my edges tremendously. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and create my little swoopty dupes. <laughs> So here it is. That's literally all I do. Y'all gotta give me some styles. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find some styles. And when I find some styles, we gonna make a video on some short hair styles. Alright, you guys. So let's go ahead and talk about short natural hair. <laughs> I guess I could tell you guys why I cut my hair. Like my actual reason why I cut my hair. Honestly, hair holds energy. I wanted to cut my hair because I wanted to start over with my hair. I want to actually show my hair love. I want to actually take care of my hair. I want to actually speak positivity over myself, over my hair, over everything. So I'm a licensed cosmetologist. So y'all know my job is literally hair, nails, makeup, skin, to learn about those things, understand those things. Now don't get me wrong, I've always wanted to color my hair and do the ginger color. At first I wanted to do the copper color. That was the first, co no, first I wanted to do like the brown color, like the lighter brown color that was the first color that i wanted to do but i always did it in my weaves then it made me realize i don't like the way i look in this then i wanted to go lighter and then i wanted to do copper i saw copper and i saw people doing the copper and like the autumn like i was like oh that's what i like then i finally found what i actually wanted it was a video and the color that she used was it was like a ginger color and i was like that's perfect but in the video she did it without bleach so i was really originally going to do my hair without the bleach but i wanted it to be brighter and so then i found the exact color that i wanted and it was this ginger so that's my hair and i've had low pricey hair as long as I can remember, my hair does not like to absorb anything. I have to use thick butters and thick products to keep the moisture into my hair. So I'm gonna go over five tips and tricks with you guys that I have learned. Mind you, I have been natural my entire life as well. I've never had a relaxer. This is actually my sec this is my second time coloring my hair, but I've never done anything other than coloring my hair. First tip that I learned is that your hair grows. Your hair grows. I used to always think that my hair did not grow because it was never getting longer. It was never getting fuller. It was always the same. Your hair grows. I learned that through after coloring my hair. After I realized that, I realized, so that's not the problem. What's the problem? The problem is you have to learn how to retain length. Learn how to retain length on your hair. That'll take me to my second point. That literally just consists of leaving your hair alone. So in order for you to retain length, in order for you to grow your hair, for your hair to be full, leave your hair alone. Leave your hair alone. This is why people dread the wash day because it is a whole day process. Your wash day routine literally should consist of you putting heavy moisture into your hair. You should have enough moisture in your hair on your wash day that lasts you until the next wash day. And even if your hair does get dry, that's why you go in with your water bottle, you go in with your leave-in conditioner, you go and spray that water, open up the pores, you rub that leave-in conditioner, on your hair and you leave it alone if your hair look like mine leave your hair alone wash your hair once a month leave it alone and wash it a month if you're trying to get it to grow and retain length another plus to washing your hair once a month 
you're only doing your wash day once a month now here don't get me wrong if you're productivity now of course i would say at least try to do it every three weeks every two weeks is also not that bad like if you do it every two weeks you're still in your head too much that's why i say once a month honestly if you go to any other youtubers especially like that are like now talking about it in 2023 they'll tell you you don't have to wash your hair 24 7 once a month especially if you're the type of girly who loves to put your hair in protective styles this will bring me to point number three a little goes a long way this means which kind of ties back to my other point as well is don't do too much just don't do too much be very minimum with your hair just like if you were taking care of plants or you were doing anything kind of like that you put it in that soil and you water it every day and you're done you don't need a lot of products as a low prosody girl and if you're getting a product where you have to constantly put into the put it into your hair every single day it's time to get a new product it's just time to get a new product so just remember that a little goes a long way you can take that however you want to take that you take that versus time. You only need a little bit of time, especially if your hair is short. Go in the shower. You take about an hour in that shower doing everything. If you clean yourself in the shower as well, if not, take 30 minutes just washing your hair with warm water, letting that water soak and get it all through your hair, putting the shampoo lather twice. And then if you have a deep, if you have a conditioner, put the conditioner to your hair. Other than that, you don't need to be doing too much. Don't be done too, too much. This leads me to my fourth you do not need a lot of products in your routine you don't need a lot of products in your regimen now as a hairstylist y'all are going to see me try a lot of different products use a lot of different products this that and the third with about three million different products that's because i work in everybody's head i do not only work with low quality hair i do not only work with natural hair i'm gonna have a bunch of products but for you personally and even me personally I have like five products. I count my products on my hands, okay? On one hand, actually. You will need a shampoo. You need a conditioner slash your pre-poo. You will need a leave-in conditioner. I personally have found that when I go in and I shampoo my hair and then I just put my leave-in on after my shampoo, my hair does better. You can have an oil here and there. Like for me, I just have a concoction, like a mixed concoction of everything. I actually did it in my weekly vlog. And then of course, depending on what you're going for, you can add more products into it and everything. But the, those are the major products that I just listed. And with your deep conditioner slash your pre poo to me, I feel like those should be the same thing. And so Miel's has this overnight deep conditioner, but it also works as a pre poo I don't even know how it works, honestly, because you put it on your hair the night before, you let it sit on your hair, you let it moisturize your hair strands, then you shampoo it out. But it doesn't take the moisture out. I don't know how that necessarily works, but it be working. And then that'll take me to my last point. Now, don't get me wrong, there are definitely more and more points, but I just want to cover a couple that I've noticed myself. So the last one is going to be massage, massage, massage 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 and consistency really we could put those two together first of all it feels great you can get you a little massage tool or whatever but i just use my fingers but i'm probably gonna end up getting me a little massage tool especially when you're shampooing your hair on wash day massaging your scalp stimulating your scalp getting that blood flow in your scalp is so needed for your hair find what works for you be consistent with it and call it a day but yes you guys so that is all that i have today i thank you guys so much for tuning in make sure to drop a natural hair tip down below for me and for anybody else who may see your comments we gotta help each other out we can't just leave each other stranded you know what i mean you you know what i mean we can't just we can't do that we we just can't <laughs> but yes so i don't really think i have anything else to say but i will catch you in the next video